these are known as Trisuratium, Tri meaning three, of course. Surirellas, Campylodiscus, incredible structures. And all I can say is for anything to be so intricate, so well sculptured, it is just astounding. <laughs> Microscopists in the Victorian times were very good at making beautiful arrangements of diatoms. I wanted to find out how was this done. Yes, undoubtedly obsessive. It doesn't matter whether it's a horse trough or a ditch, gutters, you name it, where there is water, it's worth having a look. Oops, something went across there in a hurry. If I pick a diatom up, you should be able to see it glowing on the end of the needle. Can you see it glowing? And now we can transfer it and place it into position. Now, getting the spacing right. And remember, we're, we're now dealing in microns of movement. This is where the dexterity comes in. There you are. That's now should be perfectly positioned. You don't believe me, do you? A white dot, which could be a piece of dust. And yet, when you put it under the microscope, it just explodes into a picture. Well, the first time I saw a diatom, I was 16. It was love at first sight. I just could not get over how nature could produce something that beautiful. Most of the world never sees that beauty. <laughs> 